Hi, my name is Melinda, and this is part four, Fun with Words in Digital Scrapbook Artist. In this video, I'm going to click on text, and I'm going to type out the word squirrel. And basically, what I want is the word to go across a number of times and to go down a number of times. So all I need to do is click on Select to turn off the text feature, and then click on Tools. Click on Replicate, and the columns that I want are 10 going down, and I want rows across, 10 rows across. For spacing, I want 0 0.050. And for Y spacing as well, same thing. Then I just click on OK. Now what the software does, it uh, takes the one word and it multiplies it over and over again in the rows and in the columns that I had requested. Once that's done, I just basically click off of it. And I'm just going to click on one of these words holding down the control key on my keyboard and holding down my left mouse button I'm just going to drag a copy down and I'm going to make it larger and now what I want to do is change the font because I actually want something much thicker with this font what I'm going to do is just make sure that it actually goes inside of my letters here and I want to see through it so in order to see through it while it's sent to the front I'm just going to click on transparency and because the line color is very light, I'm going to click on line and I'm just going to make this a little bit thicker so that I can actually see the words underneath my outline. Once my outline is in place, I want it to have the word squirrel right here inside of this letter L. When I have that the way I have it, which is the way I want it, all I need to do is make one more copy of this big word. So again, I'm just going to drag a copy down holding the left mouse button and holding the control key on my keyboard. And now I'm just going to draw an imaginary box around everything here and go down to the bottom of the screen and I'm going to click on this button called Crop to Top. Now that it's been cropped, I can take this um, word with my outline and I can place it on top. and. While it looks nice, I actually want to create a little bit of a better effect. So since I'm already in plastics, why don't I just go down this list and I think I'll try, let's try hot plastic. So that looks pretty good. I'm just going to increase the size just a tiny bit. Now, the one thing that I've only done is just really made the outline. The other part is not really white. And to show you what I mean, I'm just going to drag this background onto this page and you can see that the uh, outline is perfect and the letters underneath the outline are also great but let's just say I wanted them to be white well to do that all I basically need to do is click on my outline and then just make a copy drag it down go over to color but before I do that I'm gonna go up here and I'm going to turn off the um, special effect and instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this to the front and color fill it white. Also click on the outline so it's to the front and color fill that white as well. And then I'm just going to go to line and just make this a little bit thinner because I don't really need it that thick. And then once that's done all I do is I apply it on top of my word. When it's in place with the little boxes selected around it I'm going to send it to the back by clicking on this button. Now that it's to the back, I'm going to select everything again and I'm going to group it. And now, if I want to move it around, it won't fall down. Everything will stay in place. So now I've created another title uh, that looks pretty neat because you've got one word here that says squirrel. But if you look inside, you've got all these other words that say squirrel. And this is something fun that you can do with uh, any word for any of your titles. Especially if it's your vacation, you can write in the name of the vacation that you took or all the names of your children or anything else. And you get a really nice looking title. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me. My email address is lovemyzombie at yahoo.ca.